my name is Lena Wolf, and this is the archaeology camp that we just finished, and it's the ending ceremony. And there are tables that we I am going to show you with the artifacts we found. And th right here, I'm standing on the dirt that was in the hole of the archaeology camp. But right now we filled it in, and it's there are no artifacts remaining. A tour of the artifacts. As you can see, these right all these tables right around here are the artifacts. But today I'm going to be starting at this table. Well, at the top we found big wood-bearing, wood-holding beams like this one, and but they were split. And this is when Krakatoa erupted, and it it sent a tsunami all for a very long distance. And right here, it it um hit right here. So it hit right here, and. They did have these split load-bearing beams, and we also had tiles on the floor, as you can see back there, that are packed up like that. We took off the load-bearing beams then, and we took off the, the tiles in the middle. Oh, we took off six tiles, I think, and then we found plenty of um, what is it? Uh, what? Panels. And we also found a few cabinet doors, like this one. See how the hinges? Like that. Ah. And we found some things like this and more of those. And so, pretty much all these panels, all these panels, were from here. It just ignore right here because something else. But we also found human bone. Um, and we think that the panels were originally from a house of someone rich. They're the best houses there. As you can see, here are the, some of the bones from the humans. And, and, and so uh, we, we, uh, we thought that it was one of the most expensive houses, and once the owner is dead, they have this huge ceremony, and they and they they should, and they say they're pro they sh should come to their funeral, otherwise they're not remembered. And so, oh, this is probably one of the walking corpses is of Taraja, and and we say, and we also. Th and the more buffalo heads, the longer the funeral well, it is, and things like that. Uh, but, and it, it, they take the house apart and replace ace the, pla the planks and stuff, of that are rotten. And also, did you know that w when they, you take that horse house apart, you don't have to pry out any nails because uh, the way they carpent, they are doing carpentry is that they make all the pieces of wood fit together so they don't use any they don't pretty much don't use any nails at all okay so right here is a water buffalo wooden head which the horn go right here which are very hot and heavy and the ears go right here and these holes and on the other side as well Here's a skull of the water buffalo I already showed you, but see, you can see the teeth right here. And right here is another cabinet. But right here is a statue of a Buddha religion thing even that shows that you are in that religion. And right here is a big container that I helped find which I think contain, should contain water. As you can see, it's broken on the bottom. And right back here is something that was 
pretty much on the clay, a eh? which I'm gonna go all the way back here to turn it, it so you can see what it is, what's in the back here. Well, actually, it should be like this, but it's not in the right direction. And so there are symbols right here, which we don't. I don't know what means. means. Okay. And there are markings in the back, like T S S T E. But Big Dog, who's the archaeologist, didn't want because of the archaeologists who found these things marked them so they would know. Right here is a rooster that doesn't like me, which keeps falling down. And right here are some plenty of different symbols, as you can see. And here are one, two, three, four water buffalo skulls that are put together. And there's a big barrel thing like, like the one I found that's right there. Oh, 